guess who's back? What's really good, man? I've missed you guys. I've missed this game. It's been a long time, but I'm finally back, okay? Um, and when I, we have so much stuff to do. We have so much stuff to open. I have three rainbows. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of stuff. But let's talk about what's relevant right now. I opened the game today to a nice message. And we have some changes for some figures. And it is dark type, okay? We basically got... I'm just going to kind of cover real quick. We have the Incineroar darkest lariat going from 110 to 130 then we have greninja when i saw greninja i was so hyped someone commented on one of my videos a long long time ago that i made a long time ago about how to use greninja and i let them know i was like dude greninja is like irrelevant man you, you got to use a different mod but then all i did was increase hydro pump from 60 to 70 and i was severely disappointed so like i mean unless they're gonna bring ash greninja I don't know why they didn't increase the water shriek into say 30, 25, 35, maybe at minimum of 30 at least. Uh, Hydreigon and Hydreigon, man, when Hydreigon first was like, when I first saw Hydreigon, I was like, dude, he's got to be like an EX. He's got to be like so powerful because I loved using him um, in the Game Boy games. Unfortunately, he's trash and only moved it from 60 to 80. I don't think that's that good. And then we got Sneasel got the team play ability. So let's kind of let's kind of see where this is going right now. What's dominating the meta right now? It's all of the psychic mons, right? I tried to create a deck. I'll show you guys this deck that I created. This was a while ago. This was before I went on vacation, and I tried it out in league, and it did not do it didn't do well at all. But I was like, I'm gonna try and make a dark deck to uh, counter uh, the psychic mons, and this is the deck that I created. Now. Think about dark energy, okay? And with all the, like, spheres that are coming out, like, are we going to get, like, a dark sphere or something like that? Uh, but let's take a look at dark energy now. If you guys don't know what dark energy is, during this duel, if the uh, opponent Pokemon is a psychic type, your dark, your dark type Pokemon are not knocked out in battle, but are moved to the bench and gain weight instead. And when you have two or more dark type Pokemon on the field, energy effects on your opponent's psychic and ghost Pokemon are nullified your turn ends so if the meta takes a huge shift here and gets like dark decks like my boy kenny k -Dub, bro you gotta switch up your deck man your uh, your phantom energy deck is gonna be no more and these psychic decks i mean i mean i mean cosmo decks aren't, aren't even a thing anymore but the cosmo energy is gone still energy is gonna be gone from solgaleo but i'm just worried about my boy uh Kenny so hopefully this deck has some light of day because you know we're going to get these um, these uh, the the I can't even think of the word right now they're getting buffs yeah they're getting buffs now here's the question what ultra beast are we gonna get I mean we, we're gonna get guzzlord all right and, and for I dude guzzlord to me is the ugliest ultra beast ever like I just I hate his design so bad uh, but he's a darkened dragon, I believe. And it looks like they kind of skipped over, I think, Circuitry, Cartana, and uh, Celestelia. Because they were the next in the Pokemon Dex line. But, yeah, it looks like we're, we're definitely going to get Guzzlord. And I don't even have any Mega, So that's kind of unfortunate for me. Or Ultra's Beast. Um, but what what Mega are we going to get? Are we going to get the Mega Sableye? Are we going to get the Ash Greninja? Are we going to get Mega Tyranitar? Is he going to be relevant? Maybe Mega Absol? I hope Mega Absol. Uh, what else dark is there? Um, Sharpedo, maybe? And then what, um, you know, the gym, we're going to have, like, what? A, a fighting... And, wait. Yeah, so if the dark's getting the buff, then it's going to be the fighting, right? Because they're going to be... Because dark's going to be 3 MP. So, yeah, f fighting, right? It's fighting... I don't... I can't even think right now. Is fighting the only thing super effective against dark? Uh, I'm not sure, but please, in the comments below, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I mean, we're probably we're probably guaranteed the Guzzlord, but uh, what Mega are we gonna get? Um, so we're just gonna jump in. Oh hi! Uh, we're gonna jump in. We're gonna open up all these boosters. Hopefully, we get something great. If not, that's going to be sad. And do do right shoe. Okay. Oh, how was the Queen's Cup for you guys? Uh, Dragonite was available. Guess what? I grinded so hard. It was like my second to last day on vacation 
I grinded so hard. I finally, I got the Dragonite. And not only did I get the Dragonite, I got the EX Cube as well. And yeah, I, I mean, I had to use gems because like I said, I had to grind so hard. I probably spent like 80 gems, possibly, to do it. All right, we have three rainbows. And I've been sitting on these rainbows ever since I've been on vacation. I played maybe two games, two or three games in League while I was in Peru. And you know what? Shout out to young Carlo. That was the coolest experience ever. I was on my way to do um, a, a tour, a lake tour. And I was just walking in the city because I had to get some bug spray. And heard somebody say, Rico. Vespa Queen. Um... But I thought they said gringo. I like look over and this guy's like waving at me and I'm like, oh, this guy's calling me a jerk because I look like a gringo, right? And then I'm just gonna keep walking and the mechanic's like, no, I think he said Rico. And I was like, what? So I turn around and I go back and young Carlo watches my Pokemon dual content. To see somebody in a different country that watches my dual content, that is, that that's amazing. That makes everything that I do worth it just hey got a sneeze on he's got he's getting buffed uh but that that was that was just so awesome to be able to and i to go and meet somebody from a different country who watches my content like that was that was incredible um pokey fodder has been gone right he's been gone for about six days he went to new york i think he's back today so how did you guys survive did k-dub giggity and all the rest of the youtubers keep you i did not get one ex are you kidding me uh did they keep you busy with pokemon dual content i hope so all right, guys. Um, yeah, just for today's video, just let me know what you guys think about the. Uh, oh, here, let's go over, show you the Dragonite I got, and we're gonna actually use the EX Cube. Um, I hope Dragonite gets above, man. Hey, look at my Carmenite's almost full. Whatever, Showtime, bro. Where you at, dude? I haven't seen you up to uploading any videos, man. Um, and this is like loading slow. Okay. So, what I'm actually working on is I'm working on my uh, Sceptile. There's the Dragonite, guys. I got him. I'm so happy that I got my Dragonite back because you guys all know my count got... Yeah. Uh, so, we got Dragonite back, which is cool. He's trash, so hopefully he gets uh, buffed. So, we got Sceptile. Let's use this EX Cube on him. Uh, but, yeah, let me know in, this, in, the, in the next banner what you guys are hoping to see, what Mega you're hoping to see, and what other new figures you're hoping to see. Yes. All right. And the reason why I'm doing Sceptile is because anytime you can get like near 150 damage, like almost all the time, I don't know if I'd say almost all the time, but like maybe maybe 50% of the time, I think that's pretty good. So I'm three, I'm on three C levels away. The banner's gonna come out. I haven't done a booster opening in a while, like a mega one. I'm gonna do a mega one, and I cannot wait. And I'll get the uh, all the uh, the loyalty rewards. I'll be able to get my Sceptile, because I'll get four EX cubes. I'll be able to get my Sceptile. <sighs> let's change level 10. But you know what, guys? Let's jump in. Let's play some matches. Like, I don't even know what's relevant anymore. Are Psychic decks still dominating? The first match is going to be uh, probably a bug bot. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be back when we get an actual match. Guys, we are back. That legit took, like, four minutes. Excuse me. It was taking so long, I started eating some chips, man. All right. What we got here? Wimpod, Steelway is not even chain level. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. This looks like a not a bad match for me, but you guys all know RNG is RNG. He's got the gold hurdle jump. All right. He's probably going to hurdle jump over me, which is fine. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to bring out... Let's move... Um... Let's do this. I probably should have put Zap there, but I want to save Zap for the Sableye. Okay, that's fine. Probably just takes the entry, which is fine. If he does take the entry, I'm probably just going to attack with Sceptile. So I was, I was anticipating my opponent. Okay. I was antici anticipating my opponent. Okay, that's fine. So if you'll do that, we're going to do... Hmm. 
I was anticipating my opponent um, hurdle jumping. Okay, so now we have to make this play. Okay, what? Are his dodges increased? His dodge is increased? What in the world am I seeing with my life here? Alright, so might as well just threaten game, right? This man has dodged! What is going on? Okay, so... Hmm. Probably just moves... I would just move... Goal block. Interesting. Um, okay. I'm, I, I'm okay with that. You guys, it's been like a week and a half. I don't even rem I don't even know how to play. I'm probably making mistakes. Um. So if you're gonna do that, I can freely start moving. Let's see. We'll probably have to move. Nah. Well. Zapdos is kind of useless. We're actually gonna start bringing. Uh, we're gonna bring Nala here, actually. I didn't want to bring Zap up here because he'd bring up Cobalion. Dude, I'm freezing. It is cold. Utah is cold. This is fine because I'm gonna hit that Leaf Blade twice. Oh, the shuttle flip. Don't do it, my friend. Ooh. Let's see, might as well do this, and then get rid of this thing. Again? Bro, you're about to lose right here. I'm gonna hit it again. Gonna hit it again. Or that. So, let's go back to... Um, do I want to take the entry point? I guess we could do that. I'm afraid of the Sableye, though. Oh, okay, this man is just... All right. Oh, please, can I get that quick attack? That would be hilarious. Okay, 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 okay. So, the question is... Uh, we're gonna risk... No, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not. We're actually gonna bring Zapdos out. Yeah, I'm afraid of that Sableye, that is why. We're gonna KO the Sableye. Don't need to DC. I have a pretty favorable matchup here. Yeah. So now it brings up Cobalion, which is fine. I can just soar over, take the control. Yeah, it looks like my opponent. Oh. Attacking. Ah, uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So we can do this. All right, now we can the following turn. I have again, I have a favorable matchup. However, we all know that uh, this man likes to roll miss, and if I well, actually, we're not gonna do that because if he hits dodge, I get taken out by this man. So, what we're actually gonna do is we're going to do. I want a DC here? Not necessarily. I'm actually just gonna advance with Nala. I kind of wanted a DC to go after Coco. But Coco probably hits the melee melee, so not worth it. Ooh, nice. So what I can do is actually DC right now. How big is your dodge? I mean, it's it's worth the risk. And there's the dodge. <clears throat> it's okay because next turn I will DC and go against his Nala. He already wasted the gold block. Ooh. 
Awkward. So that, I'm pretty much, this is pretty much checkmate. Like, I'm pretty good here. That Cobalion has to KO my Zapdos, but I'll just DC and take the entry point. Then I'll win this roll right quick. Yep, I'll win this roll, and that is GG Boys. GG Boys, man. It feels good to say GG Boys. It feels good to be back, you guys. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to get two matches in. I do. It's... It's 5 o'clock here. I do need to go to the gym at 5.30, so I'm going to end it right here. Uh, but like I said, it feels really, really good to be back. And I can't wait to make more content. I cannot wait to do that Mega Booster opening. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, peace.